Alright there procrastinauts, my name's Paborian, and welcome back to a Kerbal Space Program far far in the future from the other one. Alright, nice. Right, today's mission I think, since we're back, we're fresh, I'm completely refreshed from being on holiday, I think we're going to do something different. Uh, bringing Bill back from Junit is what I would be saying if I could be bothered to do it. Truth be told, I don't think I had enough fuel in the interplanetary adapter and I couldn't be asked balancing it all out properly. So I think uh, for the time being, I've scrapped that mission off and we're going to tackle something completely different. Um, before we get involved, I do want to say thank you to all of the guys who wished me well on my holidays in Florida and all the guys who, who asked if I was having a nice time. It was brilliant. Uh, some of you guys have seen my adventures with the Kennedy Space Center vlog that I uploaded yesterday, uh, which seems to have had a pretty good response, so cheers for that, guys. That's much appreciated. Um, back to what we're doing, though. I have got a different mission set out before us today. Now... We have explored the, the Kerbal system quite a bit. There's still a few places I've not been to, but perhaps we should explore things closer to home. Now, the only other way of doing that is with space planes, and I've built so many of them. In fact, my latest space plane, as you guys have seen so far, the um, the Falcon whatever it is, uh, Falcon X something or other, which I will upload as a mod, if I can remember, after this uh, episode to Spaceport. So you guys can now download the space plane the space plane of your dreams. In fact, let's go get on while I talk about what we're going to be doing today. Um, what I'll also do is I'll also upload the, um, the interplanetary adapter as well, because, let's face it, that's what it's all about. Yeah, I'll, I'll upload this to K uh, Spaceport later, so you guys can use the Procrastinaut jet. It's pretty awesome. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm going completely off tangent here. Yeah, so we've explored quite a bit of uh, stuff with space planes, rockets and whatnot. But there are places close to the home that we haven't explored. Allow me to introduce you to our, my next craft, the Hammerhead. Now, the Hammerhead had, uh, gets its name aptly because it is a water-driven craft. Yes, uh, I know what you're thinking, yeah, but probably you've done airboats before now. Surely this is just the same thing. You would be wrong, loyal subscriber, to think such things. This is a submarine. Um, it might not look much, but I spent quite a bit of time building this, getting it all perfectly balanced and whatnot, because balancing a submarine underwater is, what I've discovered, not the easiest thing in the world, because your craft will tip up. If it's not quite set up correctly, it will tip up and it's not good at all. It's awful, man. It, it makes me cry how many times I've gone through the whole balancing process with this thing. This is why we're up to, like, the Hammerhead 17. It's, it's, this is like the 17th version of a submarine. You also notice that it's got wheels on to get around on land as well. Uh, this is because the original iterations of this came on some sort of delivery truck and that caused more problems than it solved. So, without further ado, let's take this out. Let's get a pilot, shall we? Um, yeah, Jebediah Kerman, he can be a pilot today. Uh, Bill Kerman's had enough of the Juno mission and uh, Bob. Fucking hell, you got a lot of courage for... Uh, for a screamy man. It's not really saying much, is it? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, back to what I was doing now. We're going to take this out and we're going to enjoy this mission here. We're going to go straight for the end of the runway and go to the water source there and we're going to slowly work our way across... Um, oh god, what's it called now? The the sea over to the other island. It's going to take a while and I might throw in a bit of a montage if I can get curb cam to work with the underwater camera of this mod. I'll explain more as I go along. Uh, if you want, guys want to download this, uh, a link in the description to the Hooligan page, because it's, it's, it's on the same page, it's, it's on the same thread as the Airships mod, also done by Hooligan Labs, but it's, it's on like page 100 or, or something like that. I, I can't quite remember what page it's on, but it's not right at the start of the thread, like it should be. So Hooligan, if you're watching this, make sure, put, put the submarine mod on the front page so people can find it, man. It was a pain in the ass for me to find the most updated version, but no matter. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying this so far. I mean, it's the sea, to tell you the truth, so there's not really much to see, ironically, because underwater exploration was never something that Squad intended to include in the game. And so y you can imagine that there are quite a few glitches and discrepancies with trying to use a submarine. Uh, another thing is that submarine mods have been around for a while. This isn't the first of its kind to come out. There was another one done by a person named Gabby, but uh, I could never get that mod to work. So Gabby's submarine POC, I think it was called, and I could never get the mod to work. I could never build a submarine. This, on the other hand, 
If you've used the airships before, this is a lot like that. It's, it's very similar in the interface. You can see here it's got the slider, it's got the depth control on as opposed to altitude control. But you know, it's pretty good. We're actually coming up pretty close to the beach there, so I'm just going to slow down and like go head on over on time warp. Whee! Yeah, another reason why I got rid of the whole delivery system like on the back of a trailer or something is because it was hard to time warp this on the back of something because the f when you time warp stuff things bend and they go absolutely mad and that nearly went absolutely mad then that's not cool at all alright okay see the texture's doing some crazy shit let's see if it does that again oh, it does it does some weird crazy shit there how weird and bizarre oh well now, let's break a little bit uh, I really don't need no! Bollocks! Right, okay guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> right, now where was I? Oh yeah, that was it. What I was about to say before my craft rudely tipped over is that um, even though I'm breaking here, or at least I'm going to be breaking going down the hill, you don't really need to actually hit the water at a slow speed. You know like how you would when you come in trying to bring in a, a plane for a water landing you'll notice things like get snapped off quite easily now the mod itself does some black voodoo to any craft that the parts are attached to so these are like acting strange forces upon um, the rest of the parts of the craft and one of these things is that you can actually hit the water at a good speed without uh, what's it called without been hurt too badly. Now uh, I'm just going to get myself up, up to the surface a little bit. I can put the wheels away now. Okay, there we go. Uh, you just hold it like that. And uh, yeah, so even though I came in so I really didn't need to. Now I can't quite get this to float up properly because of my positioning of the ballast tanks themselves. But that doesn't matter. I still got the cockpit out of the surface of the water and we can ride around like a little shark with our fin hanging up. Uh, we can actually go at a decent pelt of about that before the battery starts to get drained out. Um, you know what I think we need as well? Seems that we're going to be diving into the deep depths on our way to the island over there. Uh, we need some submarine music. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so I think now we've actually got ourselves a bit away from the coastline, I think it's time to de delve down, deep down into the water. To, and off you go. Now, one of the ways you can do this is you can. Um, Increase the ballast control and it will make you sink a lot faster. I'm just going to quickly do this here and it will, it's going to help me get close to the ground. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice as well is that it gets very dark very fast. And um, so, one of the things you really need to come equipped with is a lighting system. It's very important you come equipped with a lighting system down into the, uh, the depths of the waters and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, I'm not going that fast now. If I'd included like the petrol engine as opposed to the electric engine that, that fire spitter comes with, then um, this might have been a bit of a quicker process. But I say this is quite realistic for an electric submarine. 12.7 meters per second. I'd say that's pretty realistic. Uh, one of the problems with this mod I do find, however, is that as you can see, if I go up, the surface of the water isn't rendered from underneath. I've already popped the question to Chad to see how expensive it would be to actually get that rendered and he says although there's nothing set up now it would just be a case of uh, choosing a, a technique that would actually reduce memory usage so a bit ambiguous but it, it, it depends on what kind of technique you use you could actually get it in with some sort of ease to tell you the truth although nothing is set up at the moment I don't think they intend to set anything up definitely not like, like I said, this is never intended to be part of Squad's vision, but hey, I think it could be quite cool. Underwater bases and whatnot, I think it would be fun indeed. You know what, let's get some time warp on to help us out a little bit. As you can see, as we go further and further down, we actually get the um, the altimeter going into minus figures. Although there isn't a minus figure there, it does give us a decent readout. Like, we're 592, well, 600 meters below the surface of the sea here and we're doing pretty damn well there there, there aren't really any pressure constraints because things like that haven't been factored into the mod it's just supposed to be like maneuverability underwater it's it's not really uh supposed to be realistic if far could come along and maybe program some realistic water physics then um you could have like something pretty powerful i think kind of like how you have far for the sky you'd have ferrum liquid 
research or something like that. I, I don't know. Dude, if you're watching, make that mod. Make it and make it real. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we're actually making good progress on this island. But uh, it's quite boring to say the least. There isn't much down here and you are going very slow. But it's only about as fast as what you can go on an airship. But this is a lot safer way of doing it. Uh, it is possible to get your, curb, your little Kerbal out of the craft whilst underwater, but don't do it while your submarine's floating like this because your Kerbal does not float. He will sink to the very bottom of the ocean. And because of the way this pod's set up, I don't currently have a um, an automated system just in case things like that happen. I can't control it back down to like the depths to go reclaim it. I mean, let's uh, get out and I'll show you what one of the problems is with this as well. Um, Kill the engines. I'm gonna throw on a bit of ballast control to make me sink a bit faster. We'll get the gear down. Right, that should be that should be that, that should be a fast enough speed, I imagine. Let's do the rest off propeller. In theory, I should be able to like drive this along the floor quite nicely, but I'd, I'd rather it just land. To tell you the truth. You do that nicely. And it's so on the floor. There we go, nicely. Let's increase the ballast weight to quite a substantial amount now. And get the brakes on. Sweet! Right, one of the things I do need to do is extend the ladder. I don't know if this is going to touch the floor. I hope it does. I actually tested this feature out with a ladder last time. I just uh, can't stick. Oh, yeah, we should be able to grab that. EVA. Now, as you can see. <laughs> The camera's got into this really weird kind of mode. I'm not too sure how to get out of it. I think there is an underwater camera, yeah, but that doesn't seem to have done anything to help us out. Uh, just for shits and gigs, I am going to plant a flag to say we were here. Uh, not sure where that went. Uh, yeah, whatever, cancel. It's just a flag, an invisible flag underwater. So we explored the depths now. Uh, oh dear. Can, can I grab this? I was going to say that could have been a very short end to the mission. That could have been right there. Let's get back in. Oh, it's on the surface of the water. God damn it. Or rather, not on the surface of the water. I think it's uh, halfway up. How strange and bizarre. Never mind, eh? Right, let's return the ballast back to normal. Give ourselves a bit of thrust up off the surface. Better if I had legs. Let's get ourselves directed and go. What else do I want to talk about? I did mention at the start of the video as well that I, uh, I wanted to thank Well Wishes for wishing me well on my holiday. That was pretty nice of you. Um, if you guys remember correctly, I did actually put out a message. I've seen a lot of comments on my uh, Canadian Space Center video that um, a lot of you said, oh, I, I was there that day. You should have said uh, you were there or whatever. I should have known to look out for you. But here's the thing, right? I put two messages out on a... Uh, YouTube saying I'll be at Kennedy Space, uh, uh, Kennedy Space Center, KSC, oddly enough, uh, on this day, if you want to meet me, you come there. And then, like, I got there throughout the day, and you know what? Halfway through, I realized, shit, nobody knows what I actually look like. So that was a bit of a problem. Uh, so next time I do anything like that, uh, important, like, and I fancy doing a vlog about it, because I might do in the future if something really good happens. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what, but if something really good happens in my life that I want to share on the internet or whatever, then I, perhaps I'll do one. And if I'm going to be in a, in a place like a festival or some variety, I will, like, say, come, I'll do a video about it. And, like, obviously you guys will get a chance to see what I look like uh, again, because I'll, I'll remember to fix against that. So, for those of you if, you, if you did turn up to Kennedy Space Center looking for me and you didn't find me, that's why, and I apologize. It's me and my stupid tendencies, I suppose. But never mind, eh? We need to pick up the speed a little bit. We are getting quite close now. We've gone for quite the underground sail. Now, can I zoom out to see? I want to just make sure I'm going at a nice level high. I don't, I don't want to be like hitting the floor anytime soon. So yeah, you can see us underwater from there. Yeah, that flag is definitely halfway. <laughs> nice. I run, ideally, if you could as well, it'd be awesome if you, if the darkness of the water would completely enshroud that at a later point in its development. I imagine that with the way the game is now, like things like Universe Replace that came out while I was away as well, I'm wondering if you'll be able to like customize the textures of underwater and stuff like to uh, make it darker and just how visible things are while you're under here. That would be pretty cool. 
In fact, rather than rendering the surface, you could actually have it just go darker as you go under. That would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty awesome indeed. But alas, this is a new mod. If I haven't already mentioned, you can find this in, uh, in the link in the description uh, to the specific page. Uh, also a link to this stealth plane setup I've got going on for mods and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the links out today. Oh, oh yeah, also a link to Operation DX's video uh, to show you how to customise your own parts with custom paint jobs and whatever. Mine are just dead simple. Mine, all I've done is I've applied a black filter and turned the opacity down on the parts that exist but a lot of you can get more creative if you really want to if you really really want to but yeah links for all those good things can be found in the description god damn it this is boring as hell um go up a little bit no no depth control for you let's see if we can get to the surface and do it in a nice shapely manner as well oh god uh, we seem to be sinking quite fast go higher you fool <laughs> Because we've gone to the bottom of the floor, we've actually gone like 700, 800 meters below the surface, and I think that's quite good. Uh, as you can see, the ground's starting to disappear. We can turn the lights off. We don't need them no more. Uh, there we are. Oh, so we are quite a bit off the surface yet. It's also a bit hard to tell because the surface of the water moves in strange ways. It's hard to tell that you're moving. I imagine we're getting quite close now. Yeah, less than 100 meters. Uh, I want to be able to hold my oh we did a little bit of a jump then as well. I want to be able to hold my position above the water. So uh as soon as you get up there. Oh man, we are we are a good trek away from this by the looks of things yet, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm gonna slow down time, let me just get this net in a nice position. Go. Hold it there. Nice, and that should just like keep us nicely floated there. Up above the surface as we make our way over to the island. Let's go. So as you can see, it doesn't really look like we're moving that far, uh, that that fast. But I guarantee you, we are moving. Oh god damn! This is a long trip. Why did I decide to go to this island? We're already this far now. I'm not giving up. Um, should I come back when we're actually a bit closer? Yeah, I think I should. Be right back, guys. Alright, ladies and gents, we are effectively here now, so um, I think this is a good time to... Ooh, God damn it. It's a shame I didn't have the bloody camera on to capture that. But yeah, we're effectively here, so I think it's time to come back and start talking again. And it, it didn't take us long to get here. I just really couldn't be talking for that amount of time of, like, watching this boring mess. So now, our biggest goal, uh, well, our biggest issue here is now getting up this, because I didn't realise that uh, this was so steep, so... This is going to be a bit of an effort to get up, so it could end up going all horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate. You can't see the surface of the water, can you? It's a bit hard to tell where the surface begins, and uh, it can be a little bit hard for surfacing. You know, I'm going to turn the lights off, and I'm going to start going up this way. So, how hard do I really want... Orbit, no. How hard do I really want to be hitting this edge? In which area do I want to do such things? Hmm... Either way, I should get the gear down and be ready for this. And I'm going to start slowing down a little bit because I don't want to hit the edge too far fast. Like I said, it's quite steep here. Ooh, that looks like a good way to go that way. Alright, here we go. So hopefully this isn't going to be too fast. I think it's, it might be actually, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm going to head more this way. Slow right down. There is an option to completely stop your ship in place in water. Um, make slow to save. But I don't like using that. It's, it seems a bit cheaty. But then again, I'm the kind of person who will time warp just to, uh, you know, like make a ship stop rotating. We might need some more power. This is having a bit of a struggle. Ooh, power's getting low, right. Come on, you can make it. Oh man, this is uh, this is how it looks. Right, okay. We'll have to go on a bit of a slant, it seems, to get up there. Use less energy, I think. Take it a bit higher. Ah, looks like we're making some progress here. Now, I've got to be careful, because this looks like it tilts in a weird way. Um, oh, oh, God. Turn the sass off as well. Hopefully, that'll keep me level. Right. 
go a bit faster. Ooh, wow. Um, I think we're here. I think this, I think this is actually the wrong way now. I'm not going to be able to get up that way. I'm going to try and get up the other side. Uh, I think we've made it. I think we've made up the hardest part, so I'm going to thrust out a little bit so I've got a bit more control. Oh, yes. We've made it, ladies and gents. We've made it to the other island. It took a while, but never mind. Whoa, we did a bit of a jump then. <laughs> yeah, it took a while, but... It was a good explore. We put a good amount of distance in a submarine. How many people could say they've done that in Kerbal Space Program? Not many, I bet. Right, here we go. So, uh, I suppose a best break. I think this place is getting ready for a revamp, you know, guys. Um, the reason I say this is because, look at it, it's, it's completely changed orientation. Right, okay. On. As fast as you can go, mate. I can't go up that way. What about the other side? Can I get up then? I hope I can. Doesn't look like it gets any easier. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, you can make it. I could tip myself onto it uh, in a certain way. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought it was done for then. Alright, okay. You want to be like that? Fine. Be that way. I'm going to find an alternate way around. On time warp, bitches. Uh, I don't think there is a way. I honestly. Whoa! Oh no! Oh dear. Well, that's an end to that anyway. We didn't quite land it, but never mind. Jeb Kerman, he's quite happy to be there, even though he's bust his new rich man submarine. Ah, uh, well. We won't be doing this in the next episode, people. I think next episode, we're, I'm going to tackle something completely different. Now, I believe Mission Control is updated, along with all the other mod mods, such as uh, Deadly Re-Entry and Fast. So, I'm going to give that a whirl, so stay tuned for next time when we tackle some more proper missions. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you do go out and try this mod, because it's, despite it looking quite boring, it does have a lot of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Potential, that's the word I'm looking for. Jesus, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But yeah, as always, people, like if you like the video, leave a comment if you want to, and if you haven't already done so and you're watching these videos, hit that subscribe button. It takes two seconds of your time. I'll catch you all in a bit, people. Peace out. It's good to be back.